Hi, this is Natalie Lucier, and I'll be showing you how to set up Google Analytics to track your opt-in conversions on your website. On your mark, ready, set, let's go. Dance floor pro, I know, you know, I go psycho when my new joint hit. Just can't sit, gotta get jiggy with it. That's it, now honey, honey, come ride. TKNY, all up in my eye. So if you're using WordPress, this is perfect. And as you can see here, I have Victoria's website open and her opt-in on the right-hand side. So the one thing that I have to do is I have to actually create a page so that when people opt in, they will see that page and we can track it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go and set up that page right now. So we're going to go into WordPress, click on Add New, and that will allow us to create a new page. So I'm going to just call it thank you for signing up and write some stuff to tell people what to expect. So now I'm telling them to go check their inbox for the confirmation email. And once they have that, then they will go and check their email and confirm and all that good stuff. So what we're actually doing is we're replacing one of the uh, pages from MailChimp. But in case you're not using MailChimp, that's fine. Aweber, they all have the same functionality. Now here in MailChimp, I'm in the design form area and I'm selecting sign up thank you page as the form that I want to change. And we're just going to put Victoria's thank you page address right in here. And then click save. Great, so now I'm just going to test to make sure that that worked and that it's doing what I expect it to do, which I highly recommend when you're making changes. So that seems to have worked great. So now we're on the thank you page after we opt in. That's perfect. And now we will go and set up Google Analytics on the website. So popping into Google Analytics here, you can see under the analytics settings, I have um, Victoria's uh, ID number, which is uh, specific to her website. So no one else will have the same number as hers. And now we're going to go and find the Google, Google Analytics plugin to install. So we're just going to type Google Analytics and click Search Plugins. And now the one that I recommend is called Google Analytics for WordPress. So you can see it right here. It's not the first one, so just make sure you have the right one. You can also tell by the name here, uh, Juiced Devok is the author of that plugin. So we're going to click on Install Now. It's going to download to our WordPress installation. Just takes a couple minutes and then we're going to activate that. And then right away it tells us that we need to set it up. So we're going to click on this link here. And then we're going to copy and paste the ID that we have from Google Analytics. So we want to click on manually enter the code. So we're going to paste that. Uh, yes, we want it at the header and the top of the page. You can just click these or not click them. It's really up to you, but I would just click it just for good measure. <laughs> and then click on Update Google Analytics Settings. So great, so now Google will be tracking anyone who comes to our site, what they do, what pages they click on, and all that good stuff. So now it's time to set up the goal. So if you're in Google Analytics, you want to click on the Analytics Settings here at the top. That'll bring you to this page and then click on edit here on the right hand side. And we're going to click on add goal. You can have a total of four goals uh, per website. So the one we're going to add here is for opt-ins and just you can name it anything you want as long as it's clear what you're tracking. We're going to click on URL destination and then what we want to do is add thank you. We actually want to add slash thank you. Um, because basically it'll take the URL of the website, the link to our website, and just put it in the front. So you don't have to put that in twice, you just want to put the last part. And then if you're doing something like uh, conversions for a paid product, you might want to put a goal value so you can track how much you're making per week, per month, and all that good stuff. But we're just going to keep it to zero for now. And we're going to click on Save Goal. So that has essentially created that uh, tracking for us. So we've got it set up between Google Analytics and our website. We've got it tracking opt-ins to our newsletter. And if you click here and on view report, you'll be able to see a new little box has showed up here called goals overview. And then you'll see over time as people opt in how many new people you have going through your website and going through your uh, opt-in.
getting jiggy with